Right, um, ever thought we could do with leftover croissants? Well, trust me, I have the perfect breakfast, brunch, or even sweet treat recipe that is definitely a crowd pleaser. A delicious croissant French toast in literally 10 minutes. Right, Oscar, pan down, please, young man. Croissants, uh, they're 24 hours old, okay? A little bit firmer, nothing wrong with that. Uh, beautiful uh, apples, uh, a little bit of custard left over, eggs, demerara sugar, butter, touch of tartness creme fraiche, a little bit of honey, cinnamon, and some powdered sugar. Right, let's get 10 minutes on the clock for this delicious sweet treat. Now, pans on. Don't get them too hot but get them hot enough, okay? On. I like to use frying pans, non-stick, preferably. First things first, get your batter ready. Eggs in, okay? And I want this sort of quite thick. And I like it to be somewhat, a really nice way of coating a croissant. So, whisk up the eggs. A little touch of milk in there, just a tiny drop, okay? And then, literally, Whisk that up. Now, here's where the magic starts. Take the croissant and just put your knife in there and twist with a point. You know inside those croissants, when you slice inside these, there's lots of holes, right? And that's because of the sort of yeast, the way the layers work in a croissant. Put your knife in, get your custard into a squeezy bottle, put the nozzle in and squeeze. And basically all we're doing is turning left, turning right and filling up that croissant. Now, as it starts to fill up, you feel the weight of this croissant get a little bit heavier. In, and it comes and seeps up through the top. Again, in, down, squeeze, turn left, turn right, come back up to the middle and literally count to three and pull out, okay? Touch more, boom. Got this nice weighted custard lined croissant. Now, so far so good. Pan nice and hot. We move quickly on these things. You have to be super careful that you don't overdo it. Get your apples, okay? And this is just a very simple, delicious way of serving a sort of lazy brunch lunch. I like the sort of apple chunks. I don't like cutting them too small. I like them sort of a little bit robust. Also, the flavor of these Granny Smith are beautiful. Sometimes you can make the apples the day before, so they sort of stew overnight in the fridge. Delicious. Now, what I'm trying to do here is make a very sort of quick toffee apple, okay? In. We're gonna run two pans at the same time. Apples go in to the little pan. Whack up that gas. After that, I'm going to sprinkle my brown sugar. I'm going to form a really nice caramel on there, OK? Now, let that caramelise. Be very careful because it gets very, very hot. The secret of a great caramel is the butter, OK? Butter goes in. Apples are getting caramelised. And I'd like just a little touch of cinnamon in there, okay? That's gonna make that sort of a little bit more spicier. Cinnamon in. Now, mix that up. A little touch of salt. A salted caramel. Beautifully done. Butter, and look, we've got toffee apples now. And that cinnamon smells incredible. Give that a nice mix. Careful when you flip it. Once that sugar dissolves, this is how you turn it into something toffee. Get a nice spoon of creme fraiche, goes in, and that creates this really nice tartness to that caramel. Bring that back up to the boil, turn that down, and let that creme fraiche melt. And all of a sudden, you've got these beautiful Nice, light, glazed toffee apples. Right, now for that incredible French toast. Croissant in and sort of push it down and manipulate it in. Now, time please. 
Thank you. Right, touch of olive oil there. Just a smidgen, OK? A little bit of butter in there. Just a touch. That stopped the butter from burning. In, roll, and on. In, push it down, let it absorb that amazing egg. Don't squash it too much, otherwise that custard will come out. In, and there you go. Beautiful. Now, lightly, see that custard on top? My apples are sat there. I'm going to make them a little bit more delicious, just with a little spoon of wild honey in there. And that gives another added sweetness. But look at that. Beautiful. Now, gas back up. First one, turn over. Beautiful. Beautiful. And it's almost like a sort of uh, quick, sort of fast track take on an eggy bread. Except we've got that sweetness of the custard inside. That beautiful egg. And then look. Oh my goodness me. That is so beautiful. There we go. That can sit now in the caramel. The flavour of that is beautiful. Mmm, delicious. Now, once you've got the colour on the croissants, turn them on the side and cook on the side as well. You want that custard stain in the middle. Time, please. Get it nice and crispy. That's the secret behind egg bread, isn't it? Getting it all nice and crispy. I've got enough heat in the pan, literally. 90 seconds each side, up and out. That one sits there. That one rolls over. Don't forget, we've still got the magic of the custard in there, and that sits there. Now, the apples. Take the apples. I said to you, there's almost like a sort of a glazed, spicy toffee apple. And then when you cut into that croissant, you've got that wonderful custard. And then, no. I just drizzle some of that toffee. It's too good. Do not throw that away. And then finally, I like to mix the cinnamon in with the powdered sugar. And then we just tap, tap, tap. And literally, I should rename this book Brunch in Eight Minutes because there we have a beautiful fast track take on eggy bread with toffee apples. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're going to come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.